Welcome to MT. Hope you enjoy the video. Actually, what you are going to produce is something as opposed to nothing. So if you, like I said, if you write a thousand words and you can only keep 250 of them, well, that's better than zero. And if you go to the gym and you break a sweat and you get, gain a little, maybe if you didn't even lift any weights, you just gained some flexibility, just went in there and stretched. You did produce something which is better than nothing. And, and you also, importantly, you overcame that mental weakness. You maintain the discipline and those things build up over time. It's a great place to start. It doesn't take, you know, that's another thing I say is people say, what do you, how do I get up in the morning? Get up. Don't think about it. Don't rationalize it. it physical is a great place to start. And it's clearly the body and mind are connected because the body is, the mind is inside your body and, and there's no doubt that they're connected. And so if you don't know where to start, yeah, get up and start moving your body and then start figuring out what you're going to do with your mind and, and find a path for that as well. You know, to me, being a, being a man is doing what it is you're you're supposed to do and I think people get wrapped around all these different things but you as a person you know what it is you're supposed to do in your life you know what's gonna make your life better you know what's gonna move you in the right direction you know what's gonna help not only you but also your family your community society and the world you know what the right things to do are and in my mind a man is the person who does those things on every level from the individual level to, to to his family level to taking care of his community and his and his nation you can get the book anywhere that they sell books so anywhere that they sell books you can get the book discipline equals freedom field manual it's a different kind of book I, there's no book has been like this before it's it's different as far as finding me my podcast is called jocko podcast my that's you can find it on jockopodcast.com or you can search itunes or google play or any of the other M podcast platforms i'm on social media I'm on Twitter, at Jocko Willink. I'm on Instagram, at Jocko Willink. I'm on Facebook, as Jocko Willink. And I'm on the interwebs a lot. So if you reach out, I'll reach back. Yeah, I'm not hard to find after a, a <laughs> lifetime in the shadows. I am no longer very difficult to find. Now you got another route you want to take? Go ahead. See, the thing about having faith is you don't need nobody's permission. You don't have to take out a loan. You don't have to get accepted into the course. You can start your faith today. You can start your walk with God today. You ain't got to clear it with nobody. There's plenty of openings. He's available. All you got to do is go. I got rich, and I'm not bragging, but I'm just telling you, I got rich because I asked. She asked me today, she said, uh, is there anything about you that we don't know? I'll tell you, let me tell you how I did it. I'll take doctors off them, and you know they got <laughs> On the medical form, they say, are you allergic? And I didn't check no block. And But the nurse always go over everything to make sure. She said, Mr. Harvey, are you allergic? Thing? Yes. She said, you just not checked in the block. I said, because y'all probably ain't got that in. She said, excuse me, are you allergic to anything? I said, yes. She said, you didn't check the block. I said, because y'all ain't probably got that in here. She said, sir, we have every medication known to man. She said, what medication are you allergic to? I said, oh, I thought you just asked why well, I'm allergic to something. I'm not allergic to medicine. She said, what you allergic to? I said, poverty. <laughs> <laughs> You know how I found out I was allergic to poverty? I was sitting around one day and I was just itching. I didn't know what. I said, what the, f the hell? I was just digging. I can't the f What is... Jesus. What is going on? I was just digging. I went to the doctor. They couldn't give me nothing. You don't have eczema. You don't have high blood. You don't have diabetes. And I found out what it was. I went to a seminar uh, when I was 23 years old. And the guy said, when you can't sleep at night and you're struggling and you can't make ends meet, it's probably because you're allergic to poverty. And I went, that's it. <laughs> I got to quit being poor. And do you know I ain't itch since? I was allergic to poverty. It's a real disease, man. A lot of y'all in here allergic to it, but you have other symptoms. Some of y'all don't itch. Some of y'all just cry for no reason. You ever been sitting up driving your car? You're... It's cause you're poor. You ever opened up your mailbox and see it stuffed with mail and you know 90% of them is bills and you start crying? It's cause you're poor. You know, I like doing messages like this cause I watch my audience come. I'm a professional, so I watch my audience, and it tells me where to go next. And there's a dude in here that has not had one reaction to anything I've sent. 
I ain't touched his button yet, but I will. As soon as I hit that button, I'm going to point right at him. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, I'm going to give you the scripture. You have not because you ask not. It is an amazing scripture. If you would only ask, well, Steve, what do I ask for? Everything. You want a relationship with God where God is not only your king, he's your companion, he's your guide, he's your friend. You know how you can tell your friend anything? That's the relationship he looking. You ain't got to go to church to get that. You had that at your house. You probably had to go to his church to get to get it, but you can have a relationship with God on your own. So, and that is with enormous amounts of effort from different governments to try to paint it as an extremely dangerous app doing things that you don't understand. There's been an incredible amount of media and government efforts, India, America, and other superpowers against it, and still the consumer continues to speak with its behavior. You can imagine how much it's resonating with the consumer. I don't, I don't have emotion, I don't have any opinion, I don't feel like my opinions on social networks should be other people's opinions and I respect people's opinions. I also ask them to explain, you know, I've had tons of conversations that are like, tell me how TikTok's dangerous. Well, it's China and they know not, They know what? They know what, you, you know, there's not spyware going into your phone. We can prove that, you can look. You know, like, so it's those kind of questions. I see, I see. So in terms of entrepreneurship today, what would be your advice to entrepreneurship in terms of building their personal brand, getting their message out? If they, if they just don't feel comfortable getting in front of a camera or sharing their voice. Find out if you're comfortable in a medium that does work for you. Because a lot of people don't feel comfortable in front of a camera and I understand that. Insecurity about one, the way one looks is a huge thing for the world. Uh, um, genuinely enjoying privacy and not wanting to be known out there. Like there's a million reasons why and that's amazing. Maybe you should write. You know, writing is an incredible way. Writing blog posts, writing copy. Maybe you're a photographer and you can write a couple sentences so all of a sudden Instagram works. Maybe you don't like to talk in camera but you love to talk and you can record it and you can build a huge you know, podcast. Find a medium that does work for you and oh by the way, if nothing can be found, then that's okay too. You're just leaving a lot of opportunity on the table and that's okay too. Mm. Right? So, yeah, yeah. An important point, and you know, this is what's fun about maturing. You know, I find myself articulating things out loud now that I used to think people understood and were assumed when I talk. So I look back at old content, I'm like, mm, I was more definitive. Like it was these absolute hard statements. And I thought that, and wrongfully, that it was contextualized through the breadth of everything I was saying. Now I think I'm more thoughtful of delivering what I just said, which was find a medium. Oh, by the way, if you can't, that's okay. And you know, but but recognize much like work ethic, you're gonna leave some opportunity on the table. And guess what? If you wanna build a great business, plenty of people build it without building a personal brand. Now, if you build it, it will lead to things. Not to mention the thing that I'm doing it for. My great, 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 great grandkids are gonna really, really know me. <laughs> No, I mean this, I mean this. Like, yes, I like the fact that Gary Vee brings business for VaynerMedia and other things, that's good, but that's tiny. What I really like is my, when I'm 87 and I give some advice to my granddaughter, she's gonna be able to go back and look at something I said in 2015 that was consistent to something I'm telling her in 2064. And I think it's gonna land better because she's not gonna think old granddad is just trying to fucking tell her that. She's gonna be like, fuck, this guy really believes that. I love that, I love that. But Gary, don't you think it's getting way too competitive you have people like Jay Shetty, like of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. turned it into of a course. Song. Of course. That's good. It should be merit based. But doesn't that set the bar so high for the rest of us? No, no. It, it just means that what you're going to get is what you're going to get. That would have happened if those people were alive or not. Nobody, the world is abundant. Let there be no confusion. The world is abundant. Me and anybody else, we are not taking eyeballs away from you. There are plenty of eyeballs. Thank you for watching our video. Check out our other motivational videos that will help you turn your life in positive direction.